Hello, my name is Jagmohan Singh Chavla and I'm a product manager at SAP. So in this video, I'm going to talk about project roles and authorization roles in SAP Cloud LM. So let's begin. The concept is quite simple actually. The project role tells you who you are. Are you an analytics expert? Are you a business expert? You know, are you a testing expert? And the authorization role tells you what you can do in a system. So as an example, you can view an object, you can delete an object, and how they come together, this is what I'm going to explain. To access the authorization roles, you actually need to click on user management, and you also need to have certain authorization privileges. As an example, let's look at a specific user, Jason Watt. I can see that this user has the authorization role as project lead. I can go into the edit mode, and you can see in this panel, I can set different authorization roles for this user. And they also depend on which services or which scenarios this user is going to operate on. As an example, if this person is also going to act in user and access management, maybe this person should be a user administrator. And on the other side, if let's say this person should not be a project lead, but should have just view access to projects, then this is where I can influence it easily. And this is the authorization roles. And now let's talk about project roles. So here I'm logged on to a project and I see two places where I can maintain this information. So the first is the tab called roles on the left side. And this is an area where you define custom project roles or you can see the existing roles which exist across projects. And also within a project, you can come to the Steam section and then you see all the project roles within a particular team. And now it's very important to understand how these project roles are mapped to the authorization roles, which I mentioned, at least in the context of a project. The role project lead is a bit special. The project lead project role is mapped to the project lead authorization role but all other roles other than the project lead. So that means you can be an analytics expert, you can be a technology expert or a custom role like Scrum Master. As long as you are not a project lead, you are just a project member. So that means all these project roles at the end of the day are mapped to an authorization role called project member. You may be aware we have recently introduced access restrictions this is a setting in the general information and the possible options are public, private or restricted. Now to make this possible, the project roles and authorization roles have an interaction which needs to be understood. So now let's really go into the details. So this is a matrix that you need to understand and uh, I'm going to put a link uh, to a blog post in which you can find this matrix easily. Using this matrix, you can actually quite easily determine if a person will get edit or display access based on the project role and authorization role this person is having in the context of a project. As an example, let's start by a project whose access level is set to restricted. And let's say this person is explicitly assigned as project lead. Now, it is also important that this person should also have the right authorization role. And as an example, if this person has the authorization role as project lead, as well as the project role as project lead, then this person obviously can access the project in full. But let's take some other situation in which maybe this person is not assigned to the project at all. And the project is set to restricted. And this person still has the project lead authorization. What this means is, in spite of the person having an authorization role project lead, since this person is not explicitly assigned and the project access level is set to restricted, this person can only display. This means you need to really have both of these privileges going hand in hand to make sure you have the right access to information. So that's all. It's 
not complicated. Once you get into the details, the details are actually quite easy. And uh, I recommend you go through the blog post also once, look at this metrics in detail, and feel free to leave a comment if this is still not clear. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching and have a great day.